What is up, Han fam? It is your girl, Hannah, aka Queen Han, and I am back with another video. Okay, I know y'all, it has been a little minute. I know your girl, I am post all week, but okay, I haven't really been feeling too well this week. Um, I'm honestly still not feeling too well, but you know, I did promise you guys a video. So, your girl is gonna give y'all a video, okay? So as y'all can see, today we will be doing a little Q&A, which I thought was appropriate to do at this time because as y'all know, CBC is basically over. CBC is over. And the winner has been revealed. As y'all know, my girl Jay, my girl Jay won CBC, shout out to her, but that will be a totally different video. So I don't wanna get too off topic here. So, as you know, CBC is over, but you know, the hand fam, we're just getting started, which means the content will continue, we will continue. And what is the best way to continue but to start, you know, with a Q&A for y'all to get to know me, of course. So, you know, y'all asked me some questions on Instagram and, you know, y'all asked some questions and we're gonna get right into them. So I ask that you guys not ask too many CBC questions just so, you know, we can get to actually know each other apart from y'all just knowing how I feel about everything on CBC because I feel like I pretty much talked about that in like my recap videos. So yeah, let's get right into this video, but wait. If you are not part of the hand fam, make sure you stop right now and subscribe to my channel. If you are new here, if you're not, welcome back. Make sure you like and comment as well, y'all. So let's get started with this video. Okay, first question, we're gonna keep it real basic. How old are you? I am 24 years old. My birthday is December 27th, big Capricorn gang which a lot of people may know if you follow me on instagram because they talk about it all the time in my lives yes your girl is a capricorn and i am 24 years old um are you in a relationship your girl is big single so if you guys happen to know any tall dark skin fine with a beard Got money. Bring them my way, okay? Your girl is single, ready to mingle. I've been single for like two years now, so come on. Okay, what's the next question? Let's see. Mm -mm -mm. How much has things changed since the fire? Oh my goodness. Things have like, I really feel like the fire was like a reset on everything. If y'all didn't know, I had a um, house fire back in December on my birthday actually um, in 2020 and I lost absolutely everything. I was not able to recover anything from my fire. I lost my place of residence and I lost everything I owned. So, you know, I ended up moving back in with my mom after the fire and I was just, you know, I was in a really bad place at the time. I lost all my makeup, so I wasn't doing makeup at the time. Like, I didn't have anything. Like, I really, I wasn't working. My job had closed because of COVID. Like, so I really wasn't doing anything. I was just in the house all the time. Like, it was bad. And then it was like, at the same time, the people who, you know, who I felt like should have kind of been there for me in that moment, like my friends and stuff weren't there for me in that moment either. So it was just like, it was just a weird, it really was like, when I say reset, it was like God not only took away everything that I had, but it took away friends, everything. Like after that fire, I stopped being friends with a lot of people. You know, a lot of things changed for me. And you know, I think it all happened for a reason because you know, March came around and I, when I say March was like the most amazing month for me, not only did the boot camp drop, which we didn't have no idea that the boot camp was gonna drop in March. We had no idea whatsoever. But I moved into my apartment on March 1st. The boot camp drops a couple of days later. Like, 
you know, I really feel like everything happens for a reason and I feel like a lot of those people kind of fell out of my life within those last couple of months between that for a reason because they weren't supposed to have access to my new chapter in life. So, you know, everything happens for a reason. So much has changed within that time period and I'm so thankful, you know, it has all moved in a positive direction for me and I couldn't be more thankful. I'm happy, I'm healthy, I'm blessed, okay? And that's that, okay? You know, that's really all I could say about that. Let's see, what is next on the list? Um, How's Beats by Hand going? Any new business plans or ideas? Oh my gosh, I have so many new business plans and so many new business ideas, like all day long. First of all, with Beats by Hand, if you guys don't know that, is my makeup artistry business which I started in October of 2019. So, um, like I said, I had lost completely everything in the fire from that, so I worked really hard from December to March to reopen and rebuild that, and I have been doing great with that. I've taken a makeup class, Beats My Hand is doing amazing, working on perfecting my craft all day, every day, yes. Um, as far as new business ventures, um, I really want to do a cosmetics line. Um, I had like a soft opening for like a lash line, which I'm working on perfecting and will be redropping sometime, I would say in the fall of this year. So y'all look out for that. I do want to work on, um, other cosmetics to drop with it, which is why I kind of took my time. Um, redropping it I wanted to rebrand repackage like all the above like I have so many stuff I really want to do like I'm thinking about clothing I'm not sure yet but I have so many different stuff running through my head we'll get there y'all just keep an eye out make sure you guys are following me on all my socials and you guys will definitely hear more about what Hannah is getting into Let's see, what's next? What have you learned in the past year? What have I learned in the past year? I've learned so much in the past year. I've learned so much in the past months. I just learned to um, really follow my dreams, to really focus on myself, to really um, be there for yourself, stand up for yourself, and focus on yourself because nobody is going to focus on that for you. And that's really the biggest thing that I learned. And just to be kind and kind of put yourself in other people's shoes. Because I feel like I have, um, I'm not going to lie, I feel like I was really a selfish person. Um, not recently, but in past years, I feel like I was really a really, really selfish person. So I feel like that's something I have really started to work on as a person. And I feel like it takes like certain stuff happening to you for you to like kind of be more grateful for certain stuff. So, yeah, let's see. Ooh. Um, describe your experience from Carmen's Bootcamp. Um, my experience from Carmen's Bootcamp, I definitely want to do a more in-depth video once the reunion and everything has um, come out and everything, I'm definitely gonna do a video just detailing everything from casting all the way to reunion but overall i would say the good definitely outweigh the bad i think there was a lot of stuff that y'all didn't see that a lot of us didn't agree with but i would say overall at the end of the day um karma gave us a platform and i'm so grateful for that and you know i think that's the best thing you know ever i'm grateful that she gave us the opportunity and that's really it to be honest you know, aside from all the other bullshit, it was a great experience. I was able to meet some amazing ladies. I came out with some sisters. And yeah, that's really it. Um, let's see. Do you talk to everybody from the boot camp? Um, I do not talk to everybody from the boot camp. Um, I'm cordial with everybody from the boot camp. I pretty much follow all of them on social media. So like like pictures and stuff, yeah. Pretty much everybody, but like talk to on a daily basis, no. I probably talk to every day only Sammy and Jay. Um, 
occasionally I probably talk to like Godly, Squat Girl, and some other girls. Um, Dar, um, Tardy, I talk to pretty, um, pretty frequently also, but yeah. I would say Tardy, Jay, and Sammy are probably the only ones who I talk to out of like frequently. Um, let's see. How do you overcome the bad comments if you have? Um, I definitely have bad comments for sure. Um, I think the biggest way that I overcome bad comments is just to realize that, you know, people's negative opinions of you are just that opinions. You can't change people's opinions of you and people's opinions of you are not going to change or affect you. So it's kind of like, why should I allow it to affect or move me? You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, a lot of these people, you know, don't have your best intentions when they're, you know, bringing these uh, these comments out. They're just kind of saying it to be spiteful or to be funny or just to troll in general. So it's like you have to be secure in yourself and remember who you are and just kind of brush it off. And yes, you know, when you see a lot of them, sometimes it is, I'm not going to say you just completely shake it off, but you cannot allow it to move you and shake your spirits. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's see how many kids do you want honestly if I had one girl I'll be just fine like if I if my first kid was a girl I'll be fine and I know a lot of people just be like after they have one kid they usually want more but I feel like I, I would just want to spoil that one little girl but if I have a boy I'm gonna try up to at least three to get a girl if I have three boys that's it no, ma'am. Um, let's see. Would you move somewhere else, like Atlanta, anytime soon? Um, I definitely want to move out of Maryland soon. Um, Atlanta is on my list. Houston's on my list. Dallas is on my list. Um, a few other places, but yes, I definitely do want to get out of Maryland. I haven't really decided where exactly, but yes, I would definitely be moving. Um, are you going to do any meet and greets? Yes, I want to do some meet and greets, but with COVID and everything, it's really just kind of being in a way. I definitely want to do some meet and greets um, eventually, but you know, once things start calming down or if I figure out a safe way to kind of do that, maybe like a virtual meet and greet, let me know how y'all feel about that potentially. Um, then we can see if we can work something out. But you know, with COVID and everything, it's kind of hard to set up a meet and greet. But yeah. Um, let's see. I'm gonna do a couple more. Did you learn anything from CBC? If so, what was it? And I love you so much. I love you too. Um, oh my gosh, I learned so much from CBC. I learned so much about myself. I learned so much about how to deal with other people. I learned so much about, you know, overcoming adversity. Um, I made it so far in CBC, way further than I thought I ever could. So, you know, that was something I learned about myself that, you know, I could do way more than I thought I could, especially with a lot of it being physical. And I felt like, you know, I killed it more than a lot of people in those challenges. And I'm like, okay, well, there you go. I learned that about myself. I learned, you know, that I had way more fight in me than I really did think I had in me. So I, I learned so much, especially with dealing with other people. I learned patience because, oh my goodness, I learned patience. I learned, oh my gosh, I learned so much stuff. I could go on and on and on. But I'll definitely talk more about that in a CBC video coming soon. Let's see, I'm gonna do a couple more. What motivates you to be confident and do better? Honestly, you guys do. You guys motivate me to be confident every day because I wanna be able to show y'all that if I can do what you guys can do too, I know I have so many young supporters, so many female supporters, especially black female supporters, international black female supporters at that. I did not even know I had so many like Jamaican and Caribbean supporters. 
and yeah, so I just wanna, you know, people to see that, you know, you really can do absolutely anything you can put your mind to, you know? Months ago, I only had, what, like 700 subscribers, and here we are sitting here today, and I'm on, what, the road to, I think, 11K. So it's just like, I wanna show you guys, if you guys put the effort in there, you can do anything. If you exude that confidence, you can be anything, honestly. So I hope I am making y'all proud, because I'm making myself proud. Okay, let's see, one more. Do, 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 what would you have done with the $10,000, I'm assuming from the show, if I had won? Um, this would have been, um, I probably would have saved it, I probably would have invested um, I'm really big into investing in like cryptocurrency and stocks and stuff. So I probably would have turned that 10k into like 20k um, I definitely would have invested in my YouTube um, I definitely probably would have Used it to move out of state Earlier because I know that was something that really has stopped me now from moving out of Maryland is financials so if I had gotten the money after like saving for a little bit investing once I kind of built that money up, I definitely would have probably by now have moved somewhere else. Um, and definitely would have gave some to my family back in Africa, for sure. But yes, that is gonna be the end of this video. I don't want it to be too long, like I said. If you guys are new here, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Hopefully you guys learned a little bit about me. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. And that will be it, signing out of another video.